Alrighty, today, don't know when this video is going up, as I uh, usually have no idea when it's going up, but we got a short can. A short can that I did not purchase, it was actually gifted to me or traded with me from, uh, from, from one of my best friends, Douglas. I bought him four beers, he bought me four beers, and beer trades, they're a thing, and if you don't do them, start doing them, they're a lot of fun. Let's do this, guys. Beer, 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 uh, beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys, like I said, was uh, was given to me in a beer trade with my best friend Douglas. And we have from Old Flame Brewing Company up in, I think, uh, New Market, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have their moment, a brief period in time, pale ale. Boom. Nice light baby blue sort of look and can design here. Uh, little dots everywhere. You got the old flame uh, flame rate there as well. This pale ale is coming in at 5% alcohols by volume. No listed IBUs on the can from what I see. On the website, though, we do not have no no uh, IBUs, and on Untapped, no IBUs listed either. Without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Very full can, very very full can. I like that quite a bit. Now let's see what we got. We got our Samuel Smith uh, pint glass here. Obviously, the pint glass is gonna hold way more beer than. Uh, this can offers, but we'll try to get about a, a little bit more than a half pour uh, there. What's that on the outside? What the hell is that? It's just no idea. Don't matter to me. These glasses are washed. Uh, looking at the beer itself, a nice uh, golden yellow, uh, yellow in color. Nice haze to it as well. Not too much head on that particular pour, but looking like a solid beer. Let's dive in on the nose. On the nose, more of a dank pale ale. I mean, this is sort of like a, almost smells like a very highly, like double dry hopped sort of IPA, uh, New England, I want to say, but damn. Big aromas off here. Grapefruit, pine, lemon, lemon citrus. A little bit of pineapple going on. A little bit of a swirl. Yeah, dank, resinous pine. Uh, grapefruits, uh, lemon citrus, uh, touch of pineapple in there as well. Not too much else on the nose that I can find, but yeah, resinous, dank pine up front. Going to be the, uh, the 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 big aroma in this particular brew. So with that said, guys, let's try it out. Let's see what's going on. Okay, compared to the nose, um, a lot more subdued uh, on the flavor side of things. Still, that resinous pine that you're getting, the, 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 that you're getting from the nose uh, translates into the flavor to a much lesser uh, degree of intensity, which is, which is quite enjoyable at the same time. And then it shifts kind of into a lemon-lime sparkling water-esque note uh, with a little bit of like a pine and grapefruit uh, very low pine and grapefruit notes uh, along with that, but not too much else going on on that first sip. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, big, uh, big intense nose, much more subdued flavor. With that said, we're going to try more, so cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Mm-hmm. Light. An effervescent body indeed. Flavors, slight resinous pine, lemon lime, sort of sparkling water, a little bit of cucumberiness going on in there as well. Very subdued, very, um, a, a quite, quite of a, of a, uh, what's the word? Underwhelming uh, flavor profile when, especially when you look at, look at the beer itself and then have, and, and then, you know, give it a smell, check that, check the aroma notes off it. The, uh, the aroma notes are like all the way up here and the flavor is like all the way down here. There's a very big gap between the two aspects of the beer. Looks great, smells great, tastes fine, just fairly underwhelming. Mm-hmm. 
Also, it does kind of taste, does kind of feel a little undercarbonated, but at the same time, carbonated to an appropriate, you know, CO2 vault. So very weird on that um, on that aspect as well. Like you get the bubbles initially, but then after a while, it's just like it's just flat or, or close to flat. Interesting, interesting indeed. Not terrible, just odd. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see what the can has to say. Old Flame moment, a brief period in time, pale ale. This is out of Port Perry, uh, Ontario. Very interesting because I think uh, I think my friend Douglas uh, picked this up in Newmarket. So uh, may maybe they have a couple locations. Uh, not 100% sure. Again, 5% ABV, no listed IBUs on the website or the can, or on tap for that matter. Reading the description, let's see. Take a moment, a spur of the moment. The moment of truth, defining moment. In the moment, uno momento, a moment in time. First moment, aha moment, not a moment too soon. Just one moment, the heat of the moment, and enjoy the moment. Very nice. Not really a long description, but a lot of words and sentences and short statements about moments. I think Lexus did a commercial about moments years and years ago. Other information on here. Proudly brewed by Old Flame Brewing Kill in Port Perry, Ontario. Ingredients that are used are water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Visit us at oldflamebrewingco.ca uh, and share your moment. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Port Perry Proud. Pretty much all that is, but we do have a package on date. Package on the 3rd of March. It's not the 3rd of March. The 23rd of March, 2021. So I like how they have a clearly labeled date code as well. Not a bad looking can. Not a ton of information, but you know, just enough to get by, I want to say. Over on the website, like they said, oldflamebrewingco.ca. You go to the beer section, you will find a moment if you scroll down a little bit. Here we have a very nice picture of it. Uh, we have a price. Yep. Looks like it comes in singles. We have a description separate from the can and it reads. Moment is an American pale ale sitting at 5%, pouring a hazy bright sunlight color with a thick fluffy white head. Aromas of tropical pineapple, lemony citrus, and cotton candy dance out of the can as soon as you crack it, with a similar flavor following as you take a sip. A little bit of pineapple I got, got the lemony citrus, did not get cotton candy. Definitely did not get cotton candy. Got more of a dank, resinous pine off of it. And the sip, I wouldn't say it's similar. I'd say it's a lot more underwhelming. Uh, you're losing out on that pineapple, introducing more of a lemon-lime sort of gig. Um, again, dank and resinous hops. And then, uh, and then like a little bit of a cucumber refreshingness out of it. That's just my take. This brew has a light bitterness and touch of graininess in the finish that lingers nicely. Available in 355 ml cans. Yeah, okay, it's a little off from the description in my in my in my uh, in my opinion, uh, but you know, opinions vary. Everything's subjective. That's the great thing about beer. Awards and pairings, nothing stated. Flavor profile. There is currently no flavor profile for this beer. Solid. Solid indeed. Yeah. Okay. It's not a bad beer by any means. It has a great aroma, great look to it. Just underwhelming on the flavor aspects. But at the same time, if you're approaching this beer as a more light pale ale sort of thing, or like a session IPA almost, but sitting at 5% doesn't really uh, justify a session IPA in my opinion, but very close to it. Um, yeah, I, th I think people will really enjoy this brew. Let's see what Untapped has to say. Moment from Old Flame Brewing Co. has been given a 3.78 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 61 ratings. And as for the price of Moment, it looks like uh, $2.89 at less. It's probably before tax. If we add to cart, will we find the taxation on this particular beer? Looking at a tax included price of 327. 327, you know, not, not not a bad price for a short can here. Are there beers out there around that same price or even cheaper that are better? Uh, or you know, or maybe offer a bit more? 
yes indeed in my opinion but hey you know what not not not, not a terrible price I'm very unfamiliar of what the average price of a short can would be for craft beer um, I know the tall cans and it seems to be around that 325 mark if I'm be giving a very rough estimate so you know do what you wish but it's, it's not a bad beer not a bad beer at all if you're looking for something a little bit lighter uh, of, of a pale ale definitely right up your alley if you're going for something a bit more you know intense on flavor probably not what you're looking for but hey everybody uh, everybody enjoys something different I don't mind this one bit but with that said before I wrap it up we got to take that final sip guys so cheers on the final sip Oh, let's get ready to turn and wrap this thing up. Moment. A brief period in time. Old Flame Brewing Co. Again, amazing look at the beer. Amazing aroma of the beer. Stuff that I really like. That big, bold, intense uh, 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 aromas. Um, but when it comes to the flavor, it kind of flip-flops and gets very underwhelming and very low intensity of, of flavors. The flavors though, that are offered are great. Uh, a little bit of resinous dank pine, lemon lime citrus, um, and then cucumber notes as well. Pretty damn good. Is it for everybody? Who knows? Is it for you? I say go, go, go buy one and check it out. Overall though, Old Flame Moment gets a solid doo -doo -doo -doo. gets a solid ooh gets a solid what gets a solid 7-4 out of 10 for me before I leave you guys if you have any comments questions or beers on review in the future you can leave all that information down in the comment box below if you want to go out and like this video or subscribe to me Mate Bruski I'd be greatly appreciated as well and with all that said that's gonna do it for me, Mick Bruce, because I can always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Short cans are fun, but at the same time, there's not as much beer given in them. It's kind of just how they are. Cheers.